Hey y'all, it's Shayla Wayla back with another video. I know it's been forever. Do not beat me up. I'm so sorry. I realized I did not make like an intro, like a proper greeting. Where have I been? Have I been? Have I been? Have I been? What took me so long to make another video? But nursing school has been kicking my butt. And I kind of got the swing of things. I'm in a flow. I have a little momentum going. And Thank you. Hope you like, comment, and subscribe. Hey guys, so welcome back. This is how my room is looking after one week of nursing school. I just be all over the place. Like, my textbooks are on the floor. My notes are on this chair. My board is a mess. Got old coffee. It's just really trifling right now. So, I'm going to clean up. Do y'all know trifling means unimportant? Why do we use that word? Like, anyway, I'm about to go straight in this up and clean up my room. And I will do a little time lapse of that, so. So right now we just finished fluids and well we just finished our third exam. I'm about to organize all these sheets. The exam on legal ethics. I try to write all the slides on one piece of paper so I can just see all the information. IV therapy. Also fluids and electrolytes. Ooh, that was a lot. So I didn't even write down those ones. I just printed it out and just study off of them. So I'm about to organize all these notes, I got math notes all over the place. Also nutrition, we did a lot on that exam. Here about what some of my notes look like. And I'm about to staple and organize all of these by subject or by exam, I guess. And put them in a folder like this. I just want to say, I know I look a mess. Nursing school really makes you like black and self care. But all, right, yeah. all of those paper, I organized them into each topic. So I labeled it exam three topics that covered fluid and electrolytes, IV therapy, legal ethics, and nutrition. I have some more notes in my notebook, but you know, that's in my notebook. Also on my desk, um, I just have this i have another little sheet i keep on my desk about fluids and electrolytes so i have a little math cheat sheet i'm i'm for the cheat sheets y'all like, just to look at i'm a visual learner but stuff like this really helps me so this is relevant so i just keep that on my desk for my math calculations class so this is the stuff that i'm doing now this is for my vsim my patient had a uh, hypokalemia and was dehydrated so this is relevant oh that's for Salim. what's to live for my birthday y'all uh this is a worksheet for my b sim for my patient or she's a mod and to fill out paperwork these are calculations that i'm gonna write in my own handwriting because so all those are relevant stuff that we're still doing so i'm gonna just put it in my folder are the textbooks that we are using i am don't be like me i am not a textbook learner these textbooks just collect dust to be honest uh, my teachers have great powerpoints and i use ati to study so reading this textbook is very useful i used to read the textbook at the beginning of the semester but i don't know Next semester, I will definitely read the textbook. Don't be like me. The book that I mainly use is my math book. Because, you know, it has pictures in it. And it's just to the point. I like my math book. But this 
fundamentals book no maybe the clinical book like our testing portion on things that we know is over so right now we're just taking care of virtual virtual patients like i was saying so i don't really use this book no more i tried to not to write in my books i'm reselling these books because these books this is like 500 dollars worth of books that you're looking at um so this is what my desk area is looking like it's kind of cluttered but i just mainly use this space right here to write down stuff so i know it's not all fancy and cute but this is how i like it you know okay so i have a whiteboard you found me struggling to clean right here i put my like everyday stuff on here but that's already on a piece of paper so on this little piece of paper i have um repot my plant i already did that my uniforms um i dropped off all my packages i have a business i'm gonna link it down below hair growth oil um i still haven't got an oil change i still didn't reschedule my appointment i don't need a ein number for my taxes so that's checked off i did my shopify taxes thing I cleaned up my car, but, uh, buy a plane ticket. I bought my plane ticket. So I basically did most of these things. I just need to buy my uniforms, get my oil change, reschedule my doctor's appointment. So that's not too bad. Next, I'm gonna write down the school things that I would like to complete. School assignments. Finish care plan from my patient I need to finish narrative study chapter 29 for my quiz on thursday meet up with my friend my dearest friend monique allergy season last time i was sick and now i have allergies and y'all just hearing all of this i'm so sorry meet up with monique at panera to study what else i need to do y'all i could do some ati questions am i really going to do that probably not also how i study i study by watching i'm not showing my face right now because i really look a mess so i'm wizard kelly it until tomorrow but um i watch a lot of youtube videos so how i study youtube powerpoint talking to myself notes and I just repeat that over and over again. I rarely, rarely, rarely touch the textbook. Don't be like me. If you're in a school, read that damn textbook. And this is just for this week. I I tried to plan ahead, but mm, I just need to be really stick with myself, y'all. Then it's spring break. This is not really going to be a week in a life. This is going to be three days in a life because I'm really going into detail with a lot of stuff and I don't want this video to be too long. It might be a week in a life if I condense it. We don't know yet. This is what it's looking like. This is just my CPR card. I don't know, it's productive. And it's probably backwards. I don't know. So I'm now about to put this on my wall. And this is what my workspace is looking like. Something is like something simple. I'm a simple gal. Why is my passport right there? I don't know, to remind me of my trip that I'm taking. To remind me that I'm going to Mexico after all of this is over. And that I need to have something to celebrate. Alright, so I straighten up my room. That's a box spring that I like my bed low. I don't like my bed too high, so I just put it right there. Anyway, so just something slight. Some granola because I always be snacking. So my room is clean. What time is it? It's hella late because I've been stopping and doing hella stuff. Okay. But now I'm about to finish up my care plan and my narrative note. And I'll see you guys tomorrow when I can actually show my face. And look I know I keep saying I'm going to see y'all tomorrow, but sis is getting stuff done. Okay, so let's check off stuff. I finished... Well, I finished a summary of a care plan. A care plan is a lot. And I'm a very detail-oriented person, so I'm not even about to put myself through that. We don't even get graded for this. Finished the narrative, and I'm working on chapter 29 now. Right now, I'll just take this time to show y'all my 
vSIM and what a vSIM is. Okay. I scored an 84. Because I'm lazy, I'm not about to do it again. But this is my patient, Rashid Ahmed. So this is a quick little summary. This is like the patient information, background information, patient logs. All right, so here we go to the labs. So as you can see, his APGs are kind of stuck. His bicarbonate is low, so that's um, acidosis. pH indicates acidosis. Okay, his uh, white blood counts, or white blood cells is pretty high, so it's defined of infection. Also, you can see that he is hypo, hypokalemic, and he's also hyponatremic. Yes. So yeah, taking care of that, clinical observations. This tells you um, when we take his medicines, we take a Bactrim. This is your patient. You can hear him breathing, it's so disgusting. Okay, so we're just going to do a little something. First, you always want to wash your I'll wash my hands. Then the little nurse wants to wash his hands. His Hi, hands. I'm Daniel. I'll be your primary nurse today. Hi, Daniel. Nice to meet you. Patient talks back. Please state your name and date of birth. I'm going to the patient. My name is Rashid Ahmed. I was born on July 12, 1970. The time right here. We have 40 minutes to complete this, so at 8.10 it's going to close out. Um, so you can communicate to the patient, educate the patient, education to the patient is very important. Um, pain assessment, can assess their pain. You do a head to toe assessment. For this, I would check his mucous membrane. I'm going to check your eyes and mouth for signs of dehydration or other problems. Dehydrated, like he says. So we have little worksheets we have to fill out, like I was showing y'all. This is my paperwork. Um, the pathophysiology of a disease. In this case, it doesn't have a disease, it just has a condition. This is my narrative note. And these are the notes I took during the simulation. Okay, so I just finished clinical. All we did was go over the paperwork that I showed you guys yesterday. It is currently raining outside, which sucks. And right now I'm about to go to Panera Bread with my friend Monique. And we're going to study chapter 29, which is medications. And eat, chill, study, laugh. Repeat. See you soon. I'm bringing my clocks. Lock the door, please. Who that? I know they hurt me. Family be fake as hell. Okay, so I made it into the car. I'm wet. I hate being wet. It's one of my like pet peeves. Like it makes me uncomfortable. It makes me feel gross. So I'm a Hurry up and drive to Panera, take off this coat. I don't know. So I would usually like drive and talk, but it's raining so I'm gonna really focus. And people in Baltimore do not know how to drive when it rains. Also, I do not know where I'm going. So I'm gonna need my GPS. So I'll see y'all when I get there. So I see you made it to Panera. I'm not allowed to show you, mm -hmm. okay. Just you just hear her voice. That's my friend. Hey, That's my friend Mimi. We show her laptop. It's cute. <laughs> and we're about to study soon as she gets out of clinical. Oh, we're about to exchange gifts. Hey, Mimi. 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 Hey,
ghetto. <laughs> Not her blowing her nose. I have to get that clip over. It's like, I like the realness. We only got two wrong so far. Right now she's on ATI. <laughs> on the phone explaining to one of our group workers, group classmates, how to do something. And all the fundamentals related quizzes would pop up. And then you just say create quiz. Hey y'all, so me and Monique just finished studying. I want to spit out this gum so I don't be smacking in this video. Driving home. I'm so happy the rain has subsided. Um, I know how to get home. I just didn't know how to get there. We studied not from the textbook. We studied from um, Quizlet and ATI and from the PowerPoint. Later, we said we're going to watch some videos, some YouTube videos on it. We have an exam tomorrow. Not an exam, a quiz. A quiz tomorrow. So after we take that quiz, I'll let y'all know how that went. And usually after quizzes, we um, still have class. And I'm just not looking forward to that. After I take a test, any test, I don't, no matter how small, I'm just ready to like go to sleep, eat and go to sleep. Especially if I did bad. Oh yeah, I'm eating and I'm going to sleep. Oh, this is the uh, lab jacket Monique got me. It matches our uniform. This is not our uniform. This is just my work clothes. Because we're supposed to wear scrubs as the uniform until next semester. So, as soon as I get my uniform, I'm going to definitely show you guys. I hate when people drive real fast when the ground is wet. Like, that's dangerous. I wish today was a sunny day. So, um, after Monique brought me some spaghetti, so I came in to eat that. Spaghetti is one of my favorite foods. So, after I go home, I'm going to, like, you know, no, I'm not going to take a shower because I'm about to work out. I'm going to work out and then, like, chill for a little bit because we've been studying for a while and I need some breaks. Chill for a little bit and then I'm going to eat the spaghetti and probably study a little bit more and go over our calculations we have iv rate or something like that for calculations right now and i understand it but it's a lot of formulas for a lot of different scenarios if you don't have the hour no if you don't have the drop rate if you do have the drop rate um if it's a heparin infusion it's a whole lot of stuff that like right off the top of my head i'm not going to know so i might go over that uh, it kind of low-key stressed me out a little bit because I'm really good at math. So if I don't get it like like that, I kind of just, it's just, I just push it away. I avoid all my problems. That's my issue. But I'm going to try to tackle it early because my professor said it's only going to get more difficult from here. Um, hopefully this week in the life, even though it's only like two, three days, hopefully it's more detailed. I know I haven't made a video in like two months. Like I'm on my third exam. I'm about to be on my fourth exam. And my first video was about pre-entry. <laughs> this angle is still ugly, y'all. I need to get a phone stand. Maybe that would be more flattering. Keep my head down like this. <laughs> I like get my head like this. So, okay. What else can I talk about? I'm about 
Okay, so drugs that a patient inhales into the lungs are usually in powder form. That quiz me and Monique study for is postponed until after spring break because of canvas issues. We take our tests on canvas. Um, so right now we can't even access our PowerPoints on canvas, so we're on ATI learning about pharmacology which is cool for me because, you know, I was a pharmacy tech. I'm still a pharmacy tech because I still have all the knowledge. But now I'm just taking notes, just little brief notes because it's just like an interactive little video thing. So it goes by kind of quick. start to lose me that this is the notes that I took during that whole lecture, I guess. It's the last day. Let me change it. Okay, so finished our care plan. We finished our narrative note. We studied chapter 29 at Panera and at home. I met up with Monique. I actually did ATI questions, y'all. I did some ATI questions. Yep. We were prepared for this quiz. But the, it was going to be backwards for y'all. But the quiz is being postponed. It's being postponed because, oh, Canvas was having issues, like I said earlier. And we took our test on Canvas, but Canvas is working now. So, I'm going to just check it off so I can just, and it's just so satisfying checking off, like, checklists. I love checklists. So, this has been a very good week for me, even though I started on, like, a Tuesday, Wednesday. I don't know. But I'm just so happy. I was prepared for this quiz. I wish they did this for, like, the fluid and electrolyte quiz. But, you know, it's whatever. So, now... Uh, it's Thursday. I'm going to start focusing on my, like, real life situations that I need to do. Like, I need to get an oil change. I need to go to the doctors. And I need to do something else. I forgot what it was. Oh, but, yeah. Mm
Hey, this is Future Shayla. I didn't know what else to put, but thank you so much for watching. I just inserted a random clip here.